Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get network information from your iOS device or Android device using the Expo Network Package. So first off you're going to install that Expo Network Package using the command that's commented out and then you're going to import Stars Network from Expo Network. I'm also going to import Use State from React because I'm going to want to set the value of the IP address or the network state um, once the asynchronous call is completed and that will update the UI accordingly. To start with I'll just set it to undefined. I'm defining another state variable for the network info and also a um, setter function for that state variable. Once again, using this use state hook and setting the default value as undefined. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a function that will that I'll call to get the IP address. So I'm just going to call that get IP address. It's asynchronous. So I'm just going to add that keyword. And then I'm going to get the value of the IP address. And I'll need to use um, a wait to make sure that I wait for that to come back because it's an asynchronous function that I'm calling. And the value will be the IP address. Then I can go ahead and set the IP once that comes back. That will cause the UI to re-render and I'm going to just display the IP address here. And I can go ahead and call this function and it'll cause the IP address to show on screen as you can see there. So I'm going to go do the same thing but for the network state now. So I'm going to define my function get network state. It's going to be asynchronous. Now it's going to get the network state and await the result. There's also an is airplane mode enabled. Um, that one's only available for Android, so I haven't just I've decided not to show it. But if you needed that, then you could also use that. Then I'm going to show my network state as well. You can see that I stringified the um, the state that was returned, so that's going to show the whole um, state object, but as a string. So when I go on ahead and update that, you can see that it keeps um, re-rendering. And the reason for that is actually because, um, because I'm setting state in both of those calls, it's triggering the re-render. So these get IP address functions and get network state functions are being recalled. So what I want to do to avoid this issue is I'm actually going to want to go ahead and, ahead and use, use effect. So I'm going to import use effect from React. What this allows me to do is basically call something when the component first um, mounts and it will only get called once if I specify my dependency list as an empty array, which is what I'm doing. If I put something in that list like network state, every time network state changed it would call the function that I'm passing to use effect. But I'm leaving it empty because I only want it called once just to do the initial setup. In your app you may have additional logic, you might want to check it more regularly, in which case you can handle that however you wish to do so. So I'm just going to move these two functions into my use effect function.
And when I save, it should just stop that constant refreshing of state. You can see it's now stable. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.